from Mintos Business Spotlight. I'm here with Kurt Parent, owner of Cook's Lobster House. Kurt, here. thanks for having us on to beautiful Bailey's Island, and we are on the docks of, well, the Lobster Docks. Tell us a little bit about this. Well, it's a unique place, and it's uh, 11 miles out into the ocean, which a lot of people don't realize it's on a chain of islands. Uh, we're out in a unique in marine environment that's a uh, pretty harsh place in the winter, and uh, it's a pretty wonderful place in the yeah, summer. actually out on the dock where the lobster boats are received. Yeah. So not only, um, you know, do you own a great, iconic, you know, lobster house, Cook's Lobster House on Bailey Island, but you actually have fresh lobsters that are coming right into you that you're buying off the boat, is that correct? Yep, we're, like I said, vertically integrated on a lot of our seafoods that we come from the bottom to the top and that we buy them at our own more process them and then serve them in our own dining room and don't buy through secondary processes. Uh, it keeps the cost down, keeps the quality up, and the mm -hmm. consistency is one that we can control. Inside of your processing plant, and you actually have a Sea Life Learning Center that you put together also. The new Sea Life Learning Center that was accepted this year by Peter Volver, our general manager at the restaurant, who was uh, instrumental in all that kind of thing. He used to work in Booth, uh, Bar Harbor and had a similar thing going on. And it really has brought some enthusiasm to families and mm -hmm. to the Casco Bay Lines, who lands here uh, on a regular basis and has for 32 years now. That's an, another incredible That's story. something that maybe some of the folks that are watching this don't really know, but you know, if you've got a group or something like that and you want to see what it's actually like to come out here, take a tour, see the Sea Life Learning Center, you don't have to be on a Casco Bay cruise to, to be able to enjoy that. You can just drive on down to the Cook's Lobster House and uh, you can uh, see what's going on or contact Peter. No, it's, it's currently, you know, free of charge. It's just we want people to get uh, a touch of what is mm -hmm. in the ocean out there and not be afraid of it and just come down and learn what's... They've got horseshoe crabs in there, and we've got sea cucumbers, and we've got flounder, you know, winter flounder, and we've got mackerel, and we've got pollock, and different fishes. And well, we're going to have to check that out. I'm in the Sea Life Learning Center at Cook's Lobster House, and with me is our expert, Emily Wever. Emily, thanks for having us in your center. Thank you for coming. So we've got a little touch pool here. Yep. What kind of critters do we have in here that we can touch? Um, we actually have a whole variety of all of the animals that live here on the coast. Um, we have our lobsters. We have this one here. This is our partial blue lobster. Mm. Um, we haven't gotten a full blue lobster yet, but this one's a really good example of the kind of pigment change that you could have. Mm -hmm. um, we have them. We have Oh, all kinds of crabs in here. Yep, yeah, we have our, our large hermit crabs here. Yeah. Uh, a bunch of people are really amazed when they see how big these guys are. Um, Those are the same type of little hermit crabs that crawl around in people's tanks? Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, we have, these guys are usually from the deeper water. Everything here has been caught in our lobstermen's traps, mm -hmm. and they just bring them in and put them in our tank for us. And, and you know, I see flounder in here, and you said scalping, and... Yeah. Or part of yeah. Cook's Lobster House, we are in the kitchen. This is the trenches. And here is where those fresh lobster that come off the boat come directly here. No delay, right? Correct. They come up here in the live salt water tank where there no, there's no fresh way to get a lobster so, uh, served to you in the state of Maine. I mean, it comes right out of the salt water, pumped up from the cove, right from here, right to the stove, right to the dining room. And, and, and this doesn't happen very many places. No. And, and I'm looking here, I mean, you've got one and a half pound lobsters, four pound lobsters. I just saw one here cook pull out a four pound. Put that right over here by the prime rib. Now, if, if you're not hungry yet, you, you should be. Well, that I mean, was prime rib that came out of the oven about 20 minutes ago, and that will be served tonight, along with a plethora of other entrees, everything from, you know, chicken, steaks, 